Hi, my name is Barry Bowling. I am an application engineer with Yokogawa's Test and Measurement Department. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to use a powerful and useful feature called Dual Capture on the Yokogawa DL850 Scope Quarter. First, I'm going to explain what exactly the Dual Capture feature does and when to use it. Then I'm going to step-by-step -step show how to set up a Dual Capture on the instrument and then demonstrate Dual Capture using only the signal that is available on the front of the instrument, the one kilohertz square wave that is on the prompt cup pins on the lower right of the front panel. So all that you need, if you should choose to follow along with this demonstration, is a DL850 and a passive probe. The dual capture feature simultaneously acquires waveform data using a low sample rate and also at the same time a high sample rate but only when a triggered event occurs. Dual capturing is useful during low speed sampling when you are observing waveforms over a long period of time and want to capture fast phenomena at a high sample rate as well. A classic application of the dual capture feature mode is the chatter test. If I were subjecting a device under test, such as a connector assembly, a cable, or a relay to a vibration test, then dual capture would record and display the successful conductivity of the device under test and record that signal at a low speed. But once my device under test failed, this open circuit would then be recorded at a much higher sample rate in a burst, and this has the added bonus of, of conserving memory. Okay, let's get started by acquiring a waveform. In this case, um, I'm using a blue isoprobe, and it will be connected just as you see here. Make sure you've done the prerequisite, which is to hook up the probe uh, to the scope and to the probe comp pins on the front of the instrument. I will call out each keystroke. The keystrokes are setup, Press initialize, the first soft menu item. Now press auto setup. Press the display button. Press soft menu item number one, which is format. And turn the jog shuttle knob to the left. Set format equal to one. So there you have a waveform. And I'm gonna press the channel one button make sure probe coupling is 10 to 1 and there it is in the fifth soft menu item it's 10 to 1 I'm using a 10 to 1 probe so that's great and if any other channels came out on other than the channel that you're using that's great maybe the scope found a waveform if you have a few channels that came on uh, that you don't want on just press the all channel button which is right below the channel 14 and channel 15 button and you can turn off the the channels there that you don't want to see or that or maybe just in your way I'm setting up a dual capture recording. First, press start stop for stop. Then press acquire button. Press the record length button and set it for 100,000 points. Turn the time per div knob and set it for 100 milliseconds per division. Press the trigger mode button, set it for normal, then press the simple enhanced button and set the level to 500 millivolts. Use the left right arrow button here to adjust the level. Once you're done setting the trigger level, press shift then press acquire. Press the dual capture mode button and turn it on. Once you're in the dual capture menu, press capture setup. The second soft menu button there. Press the set button one time. Using the up down arrows set time per div in this menu to one millisecond per division. Press set to confirm it. Press escape one time. Press the next one of two soft menu button number seven. And press the event display and turn it on. Soft menu button number four. Press escape one time. Okay, we're now ready to start acquisition. 
I'm going to press the start stop button for start. And it's acquiring. I'm going to take my probe off the probe comp pin. And the top is still rolling. And now I'm just going to briefly touch the probe comp pin with the probe. And you can see I get a little burst of the one kilohertz square wave. So the top window is the main long window at 100 kilo samples per second and 100 milliseconds per division. So it's a full one second recording at the top. The bottom window, the dual capture window, is 10,000 points and one millisecond per division. And that's one mega sample per second sample rate. So I get a much higher fidelity. I'm gonna to touch my finger to the probe now. Pick up a different waveform. So the last thing to point out to you on this screen, I'm gonna use the mouse cursor. I've hit stop to do this. I'm getting these event markers. Each one of these is a trigger. Okay, after you've uh, played around with the uh, dual capture mode there, press start, stop for stop. Let's go back in the dual capture menu by pressing shift, then press the acquire button. Press next two of two if needed and go back to the first menu. Here on the first menu, press or click on list, which is the fourth soft menu button item down. And what you'll see here, I'm going to use the up down arrow, you'll see a list of each dual capture event, each with a number and a timestamp and a date. And the timestamp, as you can see, has a really fantastic resolution there. And you'll see the dual capture change as I load each of the events. And so that is dual capture. Okay, let's do a quick recap of the demonstration that you just saw. First, I talked about what the dual capture feature does, and more importantly, when to use the dual capture feature with one example. Then I set up the DL850 to acquire a one kilohertz square wave on the front of the scope. Next, I went step by step through how to set up a dual capture on the scope quarter. Once I had it set up, I then demonstrated what dual capture does when it sees a triggerable event, such as the signal from the probe comp pins. So that's the end of the demonstration, and I hope this demonstration uh, was useful to you. Thank you for watching. For more information, please visit tmi.yokogawa.com. Thank you.